Good morning. Good morning. It's Erica here from Meet You Paper Crafts. And good morning. Good morning. It's Erica here from Meet You Paper Crafts. And like you needed to hear that twice. My goodness. I always forget to turn off my other volume. Anyway, welcome, welcome. It's not a very nice day, so it's probably just as well that I'm got lots to show you this morning. And I really battled with what to do this morning. I think I had mentioned in one of my one of my weekly lives that I would uh, show you all of the pr new products that I have um, purchased so far from the new annual catalog. And I thought I would go through the catalog at the same time. And then I thought, oh my gosh, that's an awful lot. Maybe I should just do a quick project. And then I wasn't sure what I was going to make because I have so many things, so many choices. And I thought maybe I would do a catalog launch later on, but then we're going away in a couple of weeks and I have tons of stuff to do before we go away. And so I thought I won't have time to prepare. And so, yeah, I'm a mess this morning, ladies. Hi, Lori. Hi, Karen. Nice of you to join this morning. Yeah, so this morning is going to be kind of a mishmash of stuff. I've got lots to show you, though, and stuff to think about. I don't have a lot of samples yet. I am participating in an island swap. Um, I just finished making 20 cards that I have to um, go to the post office as soon as I'm done here to ship up to Up Island. And I will be getting uh, 20 uh, cards back times how many people are uh, participating um, in the group that I'm at. And I think there's, yeah, there's 20 people. So I'll get 20 different samples. So I'll be able to show you those samples as soon as we get those. But I won't be, get those back until the end, until I get back from holidays. So anyway, there you go. I'll turn the camera down and we'll get started to show you what I'm up to or what's to show you. Let's switch the camera around here. And Carol Lynn, good morning. So I guess my purpose for this was just to show you, you know, physically, or not quite physically, but as physically as we can, um, the products that I, I chose to get out of the annual catalog. And um, if I have a project, I'll show that to you as well. So let's see. Now my laptop is frozen. There's always technical issues. I have a stray die sitting here. That has to go in some and a stamp that I didn't put away. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. So. So if you have your catalog, you can go through it with me. Um, and I'm going to start off with the very beginning of the catalog. Of course, starts off with the first suite. There are um, one... Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten suites. Ten suites in the catalog. So if you're um, a new stamper or you just like to be super organized um, and not have to think that much, then suites are really a great way to go because you get the stamp set, you get the coordinating dies or the coordinating punch, you get papers, you maybe may get you know cards and envelopes like in this one, you may get ribbon, you may get embellishments. So everything color coordinates. All you may have to get is your basic card stocks, colors, to go with it. And the great thing is that in the suites, they give you all of the colors. So you can take a look at your card stock and then pick. You don't have to have all of them, of course, but pick a couple of colors and then get your basic white colors, basic white card stocks, and then you're good to go. Um, so it's, you know, pretty easy peasy to, to go with that. So they came out with this tea boutique to start with because it introduces all of the in colors. So as you know, we have five in colors and um, we have everything that coordinates with them. So I'll just bring out a few of things. I've got a lot. Um, so I got the uh, ink pads, of course. These are the five in colors and uh, they're just amazingly fabulous. Okay, I got the reinkers for them because there's lots of things that you can do just with reinkers. I got the stamp and write markers, which are excellent for actually coloring direct to rubber. Okay. And then I got the ribbons. And I got, um, here's the ribbons. So I got the ribbons. I like to get every all the in color stuff. 
I got the designer series paper. So I got the designer series paper pack. And there go all my blends on the floor. So these are the designer series papers that I got in a pack. So all five in colors are in here with some really nice patterns this year. And if you caught one of my other lives, I think I showed these to you. But some really great patterns in here. So I got those. And then I got the embellishments. So those are all in the in colors. And I learned from Gina, who was watching one day, said that she noticed people were coloring these to make them just a little bit brighter with the blends. So that worked out really well. So I started coloring those with the blends to make them brighter. This is a brand new pack. I have another pack somewhere else. Okay, so this Tea Boutique Suite um, works with all of these colors. So it's kind of a fun suite to start with. So that is all of that stuff. And then I think you saw my little paper, um, my little clip idea for holding your ribbons together, because that's frustrating when they unravel as you're working. So I'm just going to set this stuff aside because I just don't have a lot of room here. Okay. So I think it was Thursday night, I cased the caddy and I made a teacup card. I've got some cards to show you here, actually. I made this card. So this was actually using the cards and envelopes that match. The envelopes are really, really pretty. So they're all pre-designed, and then the card bases are pre-designed. And then this is what I did on the inside. I added a piece of the corresponding color that I used, the Fresh Freesia. And then I use these decal dies. So the decal dies is something I'll show you right now. The decal dies are brand new to the catalog. Oh, maybe I'll show those to you when I get to them because they're under this pile of stuff that I have here. Okay, so there's this card that I made. And I put um, Winka Stella on the lemon. The lemon looks really cute, sparkly. Okay, so there's that card. Now, who's joined me this morning? I've lost my comments again on there. What is Facebook doing to us? I'm just refreshing the page because I can't see who has joined me this morning. All right, so lots of cool ideas with this tea boutique. So this is... Um, Oh my gosh, I have so much here to show you. It's the very last one. Nope, what I do with it? Boutique. Sorry for my not being very organized this morning. So this is it. So this is a photopolymer set. And actually now I can put this stamp away because it goes in this set. Now, the longer you leave your stamps on your blocks, the more difficult they are to get off. So, whoops. I didn't mean to keep that sheet in there. Let's get rid of that. Now, you can keep these sheets. Uh, these are window sheets, and they're quite thick, so you can use these for the projects. You could clean them up, maybe. I'm not sure if alcohol would would uh, take the finish off or not but you could maybe rinse them under water with a damp cloth and clean them up if they have your fingerprints on them but you can use those for projects you can use those for anything that you need a window for okay so there's that tea boutique uh, set okay so what do we have next okay this uh this has become an amazingly uh popular stamp set i've seen tons of things made with this but it was on our pre-order 
so demonstrators got it early and so you were able to make lots of cards with this so what I did with this one right at the beginning I wanted to really profile the in colors and so I made the same sort of design but I used the brand new uh, stylish shapes dies because they're all stitched you've got square circles and then you've got some greeting dies here and they're double stitched and so I did some circles and some squares and I did one in each color just to profile the color so these I had made this was a mojo Monday project that I did with you guys so there's that very popular if you search Pinterest for uh, sending smiles you'll see tons and tons of ideas for that and then these these dies are great these don't coordinate with any particular stamp set they're just good to have in your collection for your basic supplies okay they're called stylish shapes dies and they are item number one five nine one eight three so you'll find those in the back of the catalog under the um stamp and cut and emboss machine okay and then um, I think I got this Celebrating You stamp set. I think it's, no, that's not a new one. That was from last year. What else did I get here? Okay, this lovely linen suite. I did not get this. I really like the punch, so you could just purchase the punch on its own. It's a really cool label punch, but I don't know, it didn't do much for me, and I didn't care for the colors that much, a little bit more muted, but that could be easily someone else's taste, and who knows, often I say that at the beginning of the catalog, then I see a ton of projects come out, and I go, okay, I've changed my mind. Oh, this is new, the go-to greetings and I think I got this one simply because there's three greetings just to note four greetings sorry just to note thank you happy birthday and thinking of you in different sizes and different fonts here it is so I thought that was really really cool so whenever you're looking for a greeting you know how sometimes you say okay I need a thank you and it's too big for the style of card that you're doing or it's too small or it won't fit in the punch or whatever so now you've got all these different sizes to pick from so this is a, uh, a rubber set but um, really really cool fonts in that so it's called go to greetings and I love a set like this because I if I'm using a stamp set that either has no greetings or it doesn't have a thank you or it doesn't have a happy birthday then I'm kind of looking through all my stamp sets to try and find an appropriate sized happy birthday or whatever so now I'm going to just reach for this one so this one I'm going to probably keep on my desk because now it's always handy okay so that's I would really highly recommend this one okay so that's on page 26 and then again you see with these dies that I showed you these stylish dies hopefully some of them will fit in these in these here so you've got four different sized banners that you can use with this set okay so that's kind of a good combination right there okay there goes something on the floor um okay what else is new that I got okay I did I couldn't help myself I had to have this sweet little bird set and this is what I am basing um I'm also in a um a workshop for creating classes so I'm going to be using this set for that and I thought I had a little bird samples here but I don't I thought I made a card with the bird I know I made a card with the bird but I don't know where that went but it's really 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 cute it's a punch coordinating punch so you can do these birds in all different colors and um, this is another uh, die that came out last year or last uh, can't remember if it was last year's catalog or at Christmas or spring but it's got these cut out circles in it it's a die that cuts out a whole bunch of different size circles so you can have these little birds popping out or flowers or anything else so I did get this set so here's the birds 
Okay, and I kept wondering what this little uh, stamp was. This actually creates a sign. Okay, so you can hang the sign. Here's a little kind of hanging thing, and you can hang it from the branch to say, you know, a little bird told me, or you could say welcome. Okay, so you can make a little sign hanging from the branch. And it's got some little musical notes on it, which I think is really, really cute. Really cute. And two different feet, dot types of feet that you can use. So that's a really, really cute. Here's the punch. The Songbird Builder Punch. So there's that set. Okay. And then I got this set here. It's called Framed Occasions. Um, I like a set that has kind of small floral images and it's got three different kind of greetings so this coordinates with another set of dies which again ladies I can't find it it's somewhere but here's one of the dies from it this is really cool it creates a um, cuts out a circle and then creates um, an embossed edge to it so that's a really cool set to have so it coordinates with this. So I did that one. Um, here it is. Oh, I put the dies with it. Ha ha ha. See, I am more. I am organized to an extent. Yeah. So what I loved about this set is I love these octo octagon shapes. Okay, so you've got a bunch of layering octagons in there, or hexagons. One, two, three, four, yeah, five, six hexagons. And then you've got some circles. And these are really cool. These are also got some embossing in them. Really, really cool. Yeah, so those coordinate together. These are called the Beautiful Shapes dies. To be honest with you, I bought these first. I, I really wanted these. I didn't care for the stamp set in the beginning, but then I went ahead and got the stamp set. So I missed out on my 10% savings, but that's okay. That's just sometimes what happens. Okay. Now, a really cool thing I want to show you is this die here is called the Twigs and Sprigs die. Um, why can't I see my comments? I am going to go back home and reload my page because I want to acknowledge people that are watching. Um, okay, here we go. I think I can see you now. Here we go. Judy's here. Good morning, Christine. You love the birdie set too. Really pretty. Oh, Tanya's here. Yeah, I caught you this morning. Nice cards. Love Brian. He's great. Carol Lynn is here. Karen, Laura. Yeah, I said hi to everybody. Judy, you've been using that set also. So sorry, I don't know which set you're talking about now. Because um, I've gone through a couple already. All right, but I wanted to show you this is really cool. This is called the Twigs and Sprigs. So it doesn't come with a stamp set. It's a standalone item. Um, it's on page um, 177. I'll show you that under under the dies 177 so last year Stampin Up came out with what they were calling a hybrid embossing folder so hybrid meant that it could emboss and it could cut at the same time so this is another one all right so you've got this die here and then you've got this embossing folder. Okay, so you can use the embossing folder on its own. Okay, just to do a scattering of twigs and sprigs as a background. What would be really cool is to again color the embossing folder directly. 
Um, you could use a sponge dauber to do that or just sort of lightly drag or pounce on the uh, ink pad right away and then run it through the embossing folder. Or you can um, put this in and um, it sits right inside. Okay, see it just connects right inside. So then what happens is it embosses all of the twigs and the sprigs and then cuts them out. So here I did it just to show you. So here they are. So I just did these out of uh, pear pizzazz. Okay. And so they're all cut out and I don't, hopefully the camera can pick these up and then they're embossed. See that? Can you see that? Okay. And so um, I, I'm not sure that I care for it in the solid cardstock color. I think I would like to ink up the embossing folder and do it on white maybe. Um, well, you could do it on anything really. You'll just have to play and experiment. But isn't that really cool? So now you could cut a whole bunch of these out. And then when you're designing some kind of a floral card and you're just looking to tuck some leaves behind, you've got them. So isn't that cool? That is very, very cool. So I can't wait to do that in the white with just inked up on the top. Very, very cool, I thought. So that is the twigs and sprigs embossing folder and die combination. Now I wouldn't store this in here, you see, because this won't lie flat. So make sure you store them together but separate. Okay, so that I thought was really, really cool. So that's again another sort of standard or craft tool that you could um, have handy when you're designing any card. So those were really, really cool. Okay, so let's go back to where I left off. a sticky note in here to remember where I am here this was it so it was featured on page 33 okay so here's the example where they actually um, I think they did color the embossing folder and this is the whole background that they made and then here they are cut out and put on a little box which is kind of cute Okay, moving on. The next suite is Butterfly Kisses. I did not get this one yet, so I think I'll just bypass over that because I don't have to show you. Now, this one I haven't purchased yet, but this is on my list. This is very cool. I have often stamped a greeting and then actually cut out around the greeting. So rather it just being, you know, straight cut, I've actually cut around. I, I did it a lot last year. I did white embossing on black and then I cut around the actual greeting and it was very, very, um, it just really popped out on your card. And so what they've done is they've actually built these greetings with dies that cut them out. Isn't that cool? So cool. So here's an example where someone, um, see how they've done it in black and then they colored it a little bit. Uh, but it cuts it right out. They didn't give very good examples of that die. And sometimes when they don't do enough examples, you kind of bypass it and you think, why would I want that? But really nice greetings in here. You know, thank you, wishing you everything wonderful, wishing you the happiest of birthdays because you totally deserve it. There's babies, congratulations just for you. I love always a just for you when I make little sweet treat holders. So that's on my wish list for next time around. So I thought I'd point that out to you. And then, um, so they're bringing back the Peaceful Deer. So I have that. So I'll have lots of samples to show from last year. And they're bringing back this Christmas season and Christmas to remember. I had lots of fun with this. I'll have lots of samples to show you with that. But all the papers have 
retired, right? So you'll have to start creating some new ideas. And there will be new Christmas paper coming out in the holiday catalog. So we'll have more papers to play with. Happy Forest Friends did not get this as cute as it is. I didn't get it because I already have quite a few little creature stamp sets, but you never know. I thought I would still get the paper though because um, always the reverse of the papers are really cool designs. And I love these little toadstools because I have the Happy Hedgehog stamp set. So you want to always think about what you have and if you want papers to coordinate with this. So the Happy Hedgehogs has a really cute little toadstool. So there's paper in there and there's kind of foresty looking things. And so the hedgehog could, you know, play around on those papers with all the other little creatures. I love how everything looks watercolored in this set. It's beautiful. Okay. Um, what else did I get? I love this Nuts About Squirrels. I didn't get it last year, but I might this year. I think it's really cute. And what else did I get? We've had pigs before. But this is a really cute pig set. Oh, Abigail Rose. Okay, I did purchase this. Abigail Rose. This whole Abigail Rose suite I purchased. I gotta find it now. Okay. So the stamp set is called Cottage Rose. I haven't used it yet. It's a red rubber set. So I'll have to put my labels on there. So Cottage Rose, love that. And uh, Friends Forever, you are always, you are positively the greatest. It's going to be fab. Best wishes, happy birthday, feel better soon. So it's a good greeting set. I loved the kind of, um, ant I don't know, antique or kind of old style colors in here. Um, I did get the papers. The Abigail Rose papers. I haven't opened the package yet. Or did I? Yes, I did. So I'll show you the papers in this set. So you can color these, or again, you could brayer over them, or spritz them, or sponge them. So there's that. And then there's some muted colors on the back, which I always love. Here it picks up some basic gray let's just check the colors in here so you've got your petal pink early espresso crumb cake very vanilla smoky slate and basic black okay so here's more that you could color and there's the back love that kind of has some old world charm to it Oh my gosh, I'm watching this television series. Oh, Carol's here. Hi. How is Winnipeg? And all the snow. Was there still a lot of snow? And there's uh, lots of flooding going on in areas where they had lots of snow. Anyway, look at this. This looks like it's done on, printed on burlap. This would make a fabulous gift bag. So there's this one. And then some nice muted colors. You could you could spend time coloring some of those leaves. That would be really really pretty. Again, look at that. You can you can pull in this sprigs um, and twigs die cuts to create something with this. Okay, so there's that, and then there's this one. And this looks like it is, yeah, you want, again, I'm always telling you to watch for your directions when you're cutting your paper. So you've got this. It's kind of an interesting design. Um, everything's disconnected. It's kind of cool. And then the back. Oh, look at this. I love this. It's like an old um, ship's log book. Wow. This would be cool to do a slimline card with. That's really cool. I like that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh look at this. Okay, I'm excited because, you know, I've just opened, I, I, I opened the shrink wrapping to put them in my plastic envelopes, but I haven't looked through the papers. So I'm seeing it as you're seeing it. 
unless you've already seen it. But look, it's got some print behind it. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Tulips. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And the back, oh, really nice. I love stripes. And then this is beautiful. And what's on the back of that? Some nice gray, smoky slate maybe. Very pretty. And that's it. Okay, so those are your papers. So really, really nice papers. So you've got the stamp bundle and you've got papers. Can't wait to start designing with this. Some beautiful examples here. You'll want to bring in some vellum on these, I would suspect. And um, then I want to show you, um, I did get this ribbon for... Um, I don't know if it's burlap. Well, it says 100% polyester, but it looks like a burlap. Anyway, the thing that's really cool about it is you can stamp on it. You see, they show that to you right in the catalog. Can you see that? How do they even stamp on there? So I think that's going to be really cool. Um, I would probably suggest stays on ink, but... I'm going to try it with just the black memento ink and see if that will work. But it's nice and thick. And I'll bet you, you can color this with your blends. Yeah, it's really soft. Got to do my bow test. Uh, you wouldn't do a bow on a card, but on a bag you could. Yeah, it'll, it'll tie a decent bow. Um, I think there's a picture here. Here, this is really cool. On the left-hand side, here, I'll show you. They've colored the ribbon. They've just done a stripe here along the edge. Look how cool that is. So you can definitely color it with your blends. Make sure you protect your surface underneath because it'll bleed through. But look how cool that is. Another thing that would be really cool, this looks, this technique looks like they stamped the roses on a piece of smoky slate or gray granite. Um and then they colored it with the chalk marker. We have a chalk marker in the back. So that looks like it was done with the chalk marker, which is really cool. I like the way they've done the coloring. It shows you don't have to color the whole thing. Just add some highlights in there. Otherwise, it could be a lot of coloring. Yeah, that's going to be a beautiful set to play with. Okay. And you have any number of different... Um, embellishments you could do with this you could do pearls we've got polished dots we've got lots of different embellishments you could use with that set so that's a beautiful set cold wet and 20 degrees some days in winnipeg oh so it wasn't too bad cold and wet well it's been cold and wet here um Okay, this set is on my list because I absolutely love, I grow, I have a lot of geraniums in the summer on my deck in clay pots. I love that clay pot look with geraniums. I always get the red geraniums. So I'll definitely probably get this set too. Love that. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a little hedgehogs I was telling you about. Okay, what else is new that I got? Let's see. A wash and beauty. I love it. I love the papers. I may not get the stamp set though, well though it's got this really cool, it's got a really cool die that cuts out like a trellis background, which is really cool. So yeah, I might just have to get that and look at the papers are gorgeous. But for pretty papers, I started out with the Hues of Happiness set, these papers, I got these ones. Okay, what else did I get? Um... 
moving along. So I wanted to show you those dies that I showed you earlier. Um, the ones with the rectangles. Look how cool this is. You could cut a whole bunch out of some of your pattern paper. You could sponge them and you could pull it in with this Honeybee Home Bundle that was in the Occasions catalog but is still current until the end of June. But look how cool that is for a background. You just kind of connect them all together. I'll definitely be casing that card. That's so pretty. Okay. And let's see what else. Oh, yeah, he's the man. Of course, I got this one because I do have a lot of masculine birthdays, etc., etc. So I did get this stamp set. He's the man. I thought it was kind of cool. And for the first time ever, Stampin' Up! came out with uh, two sheets of paper that are all die cuts. Um, they are all die cuts. So I've made... Oh, I don't know if I made a card for this. I think I did make a card for this, but I've sent it away already. I had a friend who's having a birthday. It's got some really cool dies in the back, too. Look at these cool background dies that cut out bits and emboss bits to create a background. Um, and these are really interesting, kind of half. They're kind of um, curved. Cool dies in here. So I haven't played too much with this set. I did make one, but the papers are really cool. He's the man. So here's the papers. I've already cut into them. And so it's all about, it's kind of a, a lot about barbecuing. So my husband got this brand new barbecue this year. So I kind of thought, well, that's kind of a cool Father's Day card for him. So I'll just show you the papers. And so there's this, you know, there's the early espresso occasion craze. There's some really cool camping designs too. Yeah, crushed curry, Cajun craze, soft succulent, Sahara sand, early espresso, and basic black. Really, really cool papers. Um, so there's that one. Then they've got, they're bringing back the, um, the ties, the bow ties, the glasses, the shoes, the mustache. Really masculine. Kind of old-fashioned. And some cars. This would be great with my for my friend. I have two friends. Peter. They're both called Peter too. Isn't that funny? One lives in um, Ontario and one here, Peter. And they're both, they rebuild cars. Cars. It's so funny that they're both named Peter. But anyway. Um, so that'll be good, great, good, good for them. And then there's a really nice subtle background. Yeah. So the paper and some argyle. They always have argyle for men. My husband has never owned a pair of Argyle socks, so I don't know. Okay, and then a bit of camping stuff. So yeah, really, really cool for masculine cards. Okay, and I want to show you the really cool part about this paper. Let me get this all together here. The cool part is that it has two sheets of die cuts. <clears throat> but I've already die cut them. I mean, I already punched them all out, and I think they're in this box. I had a box here that I put them in. Yes, look. Look how cool these are. So you, they're so easy to punch out, and so real quick for card making. So you've got, you know, beer-related stuff, camping stuff. You've got tools. You've got little arrows. You've got antlers. You've got hammer like it's just everything you've got cars just a whole bunch of die cuts that you can use on your cards my man some greetings on there best dad award you did it this is great for sons who've done something special you're stronger than you know with you i'm never lost Holy smokes, you're the best. That's perfect for my husband. That'll be Father's Day, maybe, or birthday. 
yeah, really, really cool. So I was kind of tickled pink with that set. That's kind of a good idea to put these die cuts with it. He's the man. So that's definitely something to think about. And I think it also came with, yes, it did. It came with these rustic um, little dots. Here they are. These are called rustic metallic dots. They're all one color but um, and two different sizes. Rustic metallic adhesive back dots. So even men can have embellishments. See, they show them right here, embellishments on their cards. So that's kind of cool. That's a cool set. Okay. And then, oh, this one. Yes, I did get this one brewed for you because, again, for masculine cards. Love this. I think I made, I made a couple of cards. I've already mailed them out, but here's one here. I think I did this one for a Moho Monday. So I made this card. So this was a really cool card because um, there's a stamp just to stamp in a bit of the color for the beer, but then they had a die cut with a die cut that has bubbles in it. So it's kind of three-dimensional. It was really, really cool. And here's those dots. No, these dots were from another set, I think, because I had, didn't have those dots yet. I hadn't ordered them yet. Yeah, but brewed for you. That's cool. So this was a fun set to play with. Um, my sister's uh, spouse, he's British, so he loves his beer. Um, so I got this thinking of him, my husband, all, all my male friends, they all love beer, um, and they buy them in growlers. My husband doesn't do the growler thing, but, um, my sister's spouse does Norman. He loves his growlers and it's got the beer foam and stuff. So it's a fun, fun set. And here are the die cuts. There's even a hop here and some hop leaves. Fun set. That'll be a lot of fun to play with. And you could, this is a new, uh, I didn't know this was a beer glass, but my friend has these, and they're really kind of cool little beer glasses. They're kind of short, stout. Really cool. Might get some of those for my husband. Yeah, so brewed for you. That was, that's a fun set. Okay. Yeah, you could even see, look, you could decorate a beer bottle with the tags, with some tags. It's really cool. Okay, and then what else did I get? Oh, Heron Habitat. I had to have this because of where we live. I love herons. I walk around the Cedar Hill Golf Course and often see herons in one of the ponds there. So I did get this set. So it's not a suite, it's just a set. But we have so many other sets um, like the New Horizons stamp set. We have lots of beach scene stamp sets that we've had in the last year that you could coordinate with. We've still got that fabulous, I think it's called On the Horizon um, designer series paper that's still good until, it's got all that background scenes to it that's good until the end of uh, June. Um, and there's some dies that you could use with this. The dies that look like pond dies. Let's just show you those. Um, Here's the dies. I've got these dies too. Where are they? Let's just look for them in here. These layering diorama dies. Okay, so you could turn, you could create a little pond for the herons to stand in. So those will be really cool to coordinate with. I like being able to show you stuff that coordinate with stuff. So look how look how sweet they are. I just love them. You're in my thoughts today. Enjoy your day. I'm so thankful for you. Happy birthday and thank you. Again, some really generic. And the dies are here. So I've already done my photocopying. So it's got some great um, weeds here or... Um, not weeds, what are they called? Grasses. And you've got your, um, pus not pussy willows. What is this one called? The one with the big brown thing on it. 
can't think of the name of it right now. It's got some nice greeting labels, dies, and, and you can cut out all the birds. So I can't wait to play with this one. This will be lots of fun. This would be another good case the caddy. Look how pretty that is. Yes, cannot wait to do that one. Maybe I'll do that this Thursday night. What do you think? Here in Habitat. Okay, so that's another one I got. Um, cattails. Thank you, Christine. Cattails. Okay, sun prints. This sweet, at first I looked at it and I went, no. I mean, I love blue, but I went, nah, maybe too dark, the blue or whatever. But anyway, then I changed my mind, as I often do. And so I got this stamp set. And I did make a card. This was a case, the caddy. I made this card here with you guys one night, case the caddy. So you can go back and take a look at that. So it's got the designer series paper, which is beautiful. Um, sun prints. And... What attracted me to this set, actually, was, you know, we often get floral stamp sets, but it's nice to get stamp sets, well, here's a flower, but that are non-floral. You know, they're, again, twigs and sprigs. So, again, if you get this set, then you can coordinate that with the, the twigs and sprigs embossing folder and the die, right? Okay, so here is this paper I've already cut into it quite a bit um, it's got you know stripes it's got some really cool um, muted colors um, so you've got and it's gray granite is your other color here but you could easily pull in crumb cake if you have crumb cake and um, some really nice um, just the way it's um, light and dark blues in there and these kind of look maybe frosted. I, I don't see why you can't use some of these papers at Christmas time. This looks like a snow flurry. So really cool um, colors in there with the Sun Prince set. And what I loved about it was, again, it was kind of non-floral. And um, it does a beautiful job. Look at the die cuts in here does a really look at this is a beautiful greeting that comes in here and then look at all these die cuts are really cool right um, and it also comes with the fern 3d embossing folder so here are the die cuts so again it's got a beautiful um, wreath that you could incorporate at Christmas time as well great little die cuts in there and then the 3d embossing um, and here it is in white that I embossed. Hopefully you can see that. It's just beautiful. Okay, you know the teacup set? I actually I cut out the teacups and then embossed them so they have a fern pattern on the teacups. That was really fun to do. So, yeah. So that's a really nice little folder. So if you get the suite, you get all these products together. Okay. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And they've even brought in, you can just bring in any other pop of color. You see how they brought in the yellow in here? You could bring in any other color as a pop of color. So that's kind of a cool idea. Okay, there's that. Oh my gosh, look at my desk. I've seen a lot of stuff done with this um, Wisteria Wishes. I haven't, I didn't purchase it yet, but you never know, I might. And this is kind of a cool one, Botanical Layers. And there are a pack of interesting vellum. Um, I think they're cut down to like four by five and a quarter 
if some of you have those, you could correct me. I don't think it even says that. You can do my lovely layers vellum from the botanical layers. Oh, here it is. Botanical layers bundle. And you get lovely layers vellum. They're on page 139. Maybe it gives the measurements here. 139. Yeah, here it is. Lovely layers. Three and three quarters by five. Yeah, so they're already a cut down for perfect layering with your cards. So there, those are really cool. And here's the show's example here. Using vellum on top of your card designs is really, really cool. Tanya, you did that this morning. It was really cool. Okay, what else did I get? This one, I'm sure I'm going to be getting this one. This texture chic. I didn't get it yet, but it's kind of cool. It intrigues me. And watercolor shapes. Um, this isn't new. I think it came out in the spring catalog. But um, I've seen lots done with that from, for creating backgrounds. And although I had budgie birds, I'm not sure I'm going to get this budgie bird set. I'm not sure yet at all. But I did have birds. And I love my birds. Okay. What else? Oh, here's Hues of Happiness. It's probably, it's probably right now the most purchased stamp set. The papers are absolutely divine. I showed these to you, and I think I made a card. I made, it was a case the caddy too. Here's the card. I mean, if you don't like that, there's something seriously wrong. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, but really, how can you not like that? Um, so this is a full, sh full piece of DSP that I put on the back. Um, and it looks like it's painted on canvas. It's got canvas texture on there. So it's it's just really cool. The papers are gorgeous. And then um, you can die cut. Here it is. You can die cut the flowers directly from the paper. Here they are. And you can, so you can die cut the leaves and you can die cut the flowers directly from the DSP. So I did, I must have them in the package. Yeah, see here? Oh, here, see? So I just spent some time, when I made my first card, I spent some time just cutting out lots of flowers. So you can die cut um, some of the leaves, and you can die cut lots of the different shaped flowers. So look how fun those are. So if you spend some time doing it, then they're... And, and even the edge pieces... Don't neglect the edge pieces. Um, so what I mean by that is you can die cut. So when you get, and what I do is I just, I, I hand cut very carefully around. So I would hand cut in here very carefully and then I would die cut these. Um, so edge here, so here's an edge piece. So you can still die cut this piece and then you use the edge pieces to, to go around the circumference of your card. So like I did on the inside, I just did the one here, but I layered a little leaf in here. So I saw cards made where they've put all the edge pieces all the way around the card. So they don't go to waste at all. So you can do a combination of stamping and die cutting. So very, very cool. So I just loved this set and the papers are exquisite. I love this background. Look at all the colors in that background. And then you have a couple of different sheets with different colored roses. You see, so they've got the yellows, the oranges, and pinks. And then here's another background sheet. Look at this sheet. Look at these colors here. If you like purples, my daughter's favorite color. So beautiful colors. And look at this sheet. These ones I don't think die cut, but look how gorgeous. Imagine getting a, a birthday present in a bag with that paper. Oh, look at this sheet. It's just stunning. And really nice background pieces, too. Look at this piece. This is just gorgeous. 
look, look, it goes on forever. It's just amazing paper. Amazing, amazing, amazing paper. So that is, that was my first, first thing I wanted to purchase was this paper and this whole suite. Uh, the other thing that came with this are something called uh, glossy dots, and I do have them somewhere around. I brought them out somewhere. I just thought of an idea. I don't know if any of you do that, but you know, when you get these embellishments, why not store them in the same case as the stamp set? Unless you want to use them on other projects, but it would remind you to use them. I might have them already in my... Look, I reorganized my embellishment box. I put them all according to size. So um, they're probably in here because I did use them. I might not be able to find them right now. Anyway, they're really pretty. Yeah, they're in there somewhere. Or they're on my desk here somewhere. Not sure. Okay, but yeah, the Glossy Dots assortment is in here as well. I'm looking for my elastic. Oh, hi, Heather. Where did I get my tabs? Are you talking about the tabs on my paper? Oh, the, you're talking about these, I'll bet. Yeah. Um, these are from, I think they're Connie Stewart. And I have this, I still have this old tab punch. So I think it was Connie Stewart. I might have them still, and I can send them to you if you like. Yeah, and so I did my whole catalog. It's just so cool to do it that way. Okay, what else did I get? Oh, this uniquely artistic, this stamp set I won, I won. it was a giveaway during um, on stage, so this is it, and I thought, what am I going to do with that? It's a two-step stamp thing, and so I played around with it, and I made a couple of cards I wanted to show you, so there's no dies, so I did fussy cut the flowers, and I fussy cut some of the single layers, but I kind of did the background, and then... Um, I used those other dies I showed you early to make this. This is white embossed, and I used this hexagon die to cut that out. So I'm really happy the way that turned out. And these are some of those uh, last year's in color jewels, and this is what I did on the inside. So that's that card that I made. I did an envelope. So pretty. And then I made this card. So I brought in some vellum and I cut this vellum with the uh, layering circles, the scalloped edged one. And after I cut this out, the vellum out, I kept folding it in half and then in half and then in half and then in half so that it kind of pops up, it stays popped up. And then I put this one on a, this one I glued flat even though it pops up and then this one is on a dimensional. And then I've covered it with um, Wink of Stella but those are the new, some of the new ink colors I was really happy with the way that turned out too so this is kind of a fun and then um, yeah that was a fun stamp set so again you look at it and you think hmm what am I going to do with that but I'm really happy with the way that turned out Um, okay, so I did that and I did that. Oh, I want to show you a couple of other new products before we go on. Okay, what else did I get? I think we're almost at the end. Yeah, we're at the end. Almost at the end. Yeah, we're at the end. Okay, 
So what I want to show you now is I did get these. I haven't opened up the package. They're kind of all kind of falling off the card. But these are these brass, they're called Flowers Adhesive Backed Trinkets. Now, they're kind of thick and they're a little bit heavy. I think they would do okay on a card, but they'd be great on tags. I just thought they were really pretty. So you've got the gold and the silver of those. So those are in the embellishment area. And... Um, What else did I want to show you? Okay, I want to show you something else. I want to show you, we have brand new, bear with me, I have to find it. We have brand new, so here are those tea boutique cards and envelopes in the back as well. Um, where will it be? Oh, here. Masking paper. Here it is. On page 149, we have this masking paper. Um... So, masking is a technique um, where that allows you to stamp flowers on top of flowers without the flowers showing through. I'm sure you all know about masking. Um, I did... Um, one of my stamp sets has a flower that I mask because you can reuse it over and over again. Okay, so how the sheet works is, um, and I've just glued half of it here. Um, it's a large sheet, but it's got a, it's got, it's in two parts. You see? Okay, so what you do is you stamp. This is sticky, so you stamp on the back of it. And then you cut out the flower and you always cut very, very tightly into the image. So normally when you die cut, you leave a bit of a white border around it. Well, you don't want to do that when you're masking. So you stamp the image on here and you cut very, very tight to the border of flower, if not kind of on the very inside edge of the border. Okay. And then you... Uh, peel it off here and then you lie it you then you stamp your flower on your um, say your basic white piece stamp your flower and then you put the die cut the mask right over it you mask it and then you can stamp another flower I'll have to do a video and show you guys but I'm sure oh nice to see you I'm glad you were here have a great day um yeah and you can I mean, I don't have to show you. There are tons of masking videos online. But I thought I would give these a try. Now, the only thing with them that I noticed, I'm going to tell you guys, is that I couldn't get it off. I, I did a flower that was about that size. And I, I stamped my image on my basic white cardstock. Then I put my mask over it. And then I stamped my other flower on top of it. And when I went to take the mask off, it would not come off and so I did a trick with it where I took like a bit of a post-it note and after I cut this out I just before I put it lay it down I put a bit of a post-it note just on the corner of the flower so that I could very gently lift it off the paper but it was um it was hard to get off. So I don't know if any of you have this and tried it out, but just be wary of that. And it's not like I rubbed it down on the paper. It just wouldn't lift off very well. So I think you need to de-stick it a bit. So maybe just stick this onto your pants, you know, to because it's quite sticky. It's more sticky than a post-it note, okay? 
Like it's pretty sticky. It's yeah, see? Look how sticky that is. So it's more it's not like a post-it note. So if I'd have known that I wouldn't have purchased it because I have post-it notes that have full stickiness. The whole thing is a sticky post-it note. But I thought I would try it. So that I'm just forewarning you that it's very, very sticky. Okay, so masking sheets. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you in here is um, there's a new punch, decorative circle punch. I did buy this. I haven't used it yet, and I didn't bring it to my desk, but it's a really nice big, because I really miss the scalloped edged punch. So this will be great for a lot of quick greetings. And then I wanted to show you the brand new, uh, the brand new magnetic cutting plate. I should have ticked this off because I have this. I don't have a pin here. Yeah, I'm going to show you the magnetic cutting plate. Okay. The first thing I noticed was how heavy it was. It is super duper heavy. I've only used it twice. Okay. So this, I cannot see this ever bending. It's got a really thick piece of metal on the back. Then the magnet is really thick and it's a full sheet, a full, it's all magnet. Okay. So no more jumping dies. And then it's got this self-healing mat on the top, okay? Um, so I used it once. It was great. Um, there's no way. It's super heavy. You can't believe it. It's probably about two pounds. Okay, now, um, I just released on my gals team page. So if you're part of my gals team page, you'll see. But if you go and log into your demo site, they've got a brand new update. This is printed wrong. They left in one of the die, one of the die cutting plates in here. So you don't do one, two, five, and three. Okay, you do one, five, and three. So you leave out. So I'll show you. So you do your base plate, and you get rid of this one, this die cutting plate. So it's base plate, which is one. Okay, then you do um, five, which is your which is your um, magnetic plate. So you do your paper die facing down and then you do a number three, which is a clear, a clear plate on top. Okay, so that's your sandwich. There's only three total plates, okay, not four. So they've released um, a new sheet like this that you can print off. Okay, but I think this is going to be amazing because you can do a bunch of die cutting all at once. So imagine cutting out all those roses from that Hues of Happiness set. I think it's going to be really great. Okay, so that's an update on the magnetic plate. The one for the small machines not available yet. They had some um, shipping issues with that. The last thing I wanted to show you were these deckled dies. These are really cool. So if you like layering and you don't want to rip your paper all the time, then you've got these fantastic, they're rectangles again, and so you can do a bunch of layering, and look, they're all deckled. So these will coordinate beautiful with the stitch dies that we have, the, rec the uh, rectangles. We have stitched ones. Where are they? I've used them a ton. Here, these ones, the stitched rectangles, and then you've got the stitched decal dies. So that's brand new. And then I think I have one more thing to show you and then we're done. What was the other thing I wanted to show you? Oh, another, um, what did I do with it? Um, I did get this new um, um, quatrefoil tile embossing folder. It's not a 3D one. It's a really thin one, but it's got this quatrefoil. I haven't tried it yet, but I did get that. 
and then I did get, I don't know why I didn't see this in the catalog, it's in there, but I got this Splendid Thoughts stamp set too. Anyway, so that's it ladies, that is your little catalog preview of the stuff that I got, and so I will be madly creating stuff and showing you stuff. So if you stuck around, that's great. Oh, you figured that out about the plate? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's the set for the Creativity Day. That's why I didn't talk about it. Splendid Thoughts. Yes, never mind. That's not in the catalog. That's why. Thanks for that reminder. Okay, I'll read through the comments and answer any questions um, once the live is finished and get back to you about stuff if you ask a question. So thanks so much for joining me this morning. I know that was a little bit haphazard, but um, we were away yesterday in Vancouver. We went to see Cirque du Soleil. I have to tell you, it was absolutely amazing. And it was my first venture without wearing a mask because we were in a VIP tent, and so there was lots of drinking and appetizers to eat. So you can't stay masked up for that. And so I'm kind of sticking close to home for the next three days. Hopefully I didn't catch COVID. I'm really hoping I didn't. Um, I'm hoping people are responsible and not going to public affairs if they're feeling ill. Anyway, um, yeah, it was just, it was absolutely amazing. The costumes and the makeup and the acrobatics, they were phenomenal. There was this fire guy. Oh, I've never seen anybody twirl fire sticks like this guy did. It looked like he was totally 100% on fire. Anyway, it's wor worth it if you get to go to Vancouver and, and go to see the show. It was really good. And it's all intense. It was really, really cool. And yeah, it was warm enough. You don't have to worry about that. So it was just fantastic. Okay, ladies, thank you so much. And um, we will see you Monday morning for Moho Monday, if you can make it. Thanks, ladies. Bye for now. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.